This is a location guide for the Korok Forest in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm going to show you where it is and how to get to it. So the Korok Forest is up here north of Central Hyrule, but you won't be able to get it into it normally. Instead, what you'll have to do is right here on the map, you'll be able to go to the Minchi Woods Chasm. So let me zoom out one more time. It's right here. Zoom that in. Okay, there's a chasm right here. What you'll do is you'll dive into this chasm. Be careful not to touch the sides on the way down or you'll totally die. So be careful of that. So we're going to go ahead and dive because it's really far down. And then you get in here and as soon as you hit the bottom, you can just pull out the glider if you want to. Uh, but I'm going to keep dropping because... All right, be careful. Oh my gosh, it's, it's a disaster. I'm on the wall. There we go. I'm going to glide this way. All right, so we're going to glide out over this way. And we're going to look around for a light route. So we can see a light route off in the distance to the northwest. So we're going to head over this way. And what we want to do is we want to go to that light route over there. Now, at this point, if you have stamina food, it would be a great time to just use stamina food and just glide over there. Now, if you hit the ground, it's not a big deal. This is like any other time that you're in the depths, if you've ever been in here. You'll just go down here and... You'll, you know, try to get there on foot. You'll climb up trees and glide. You'll put down bright root seeds and hit them in order to see where you're going and stuff. I think that's what that is right there from what, some other time I was in there. Those two spots that are lit up are from where I put bright root seeds down there. And then I hit them and it makes it light up. All right, so you're just going to keep on heading over this way. And then once we get here, uh, we either find a way up or you can use Zonai devices, which that's another option. So I'm just going to go ahead and land right here. And I'm on top of, I don't even know what I'm on top of, so really fast, uh, I was going to show you, you can use Bright Bloom, not Bright Root. And you can press X to drop, hit them, and it'll light up the area. Now, another thing you can do in order to get places faster is with Auto Build or with Zonai devices from your inventory, you can build things like a flying thing, or you can build this, just a sled with a rocket on the side, which is what I'm going to use right now to finish off this task. So I can put a rocket on a sled, and then I can hit it. And this will launch me up further into the sky so that I can glide over to our destination. So this thing right here, this is where we're going to go. Now, before you get it, be careful. Uh, be sure to grab the light route behind it so you can teleport back down here. Or else, if you want to come back down here to explore the depths around here, you'll have to do what I just did all over again. So it's kind of a, a bait here to just leave immediately. So we're going to run straight through. And the reason I'm telling you about that is because I actually did that, and now I have to do this a second time. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this video for it. Well, that is just... Man, the random grabbing, climbing on this game, it drives me crazy sometimes. So you're going to grab this light. I'm going to skip the cutscene. It'll light up the whole area around here. Or in this one's case, a very small area. Some only light up a really small area, and this is one of the ones that lights up a really small area. Then after that, you're going to head back over to this thing that we just ran past. And this thing is close enough to the ground that we can use Ascend on it. So now we can Ascend up through this. And once we do this, it will take us up to our final destination. The reason that you came here to watch this video to get a guide or walkthrough. It will take us to the Korok Forest. And the first time you come here, there will actually be a, little, a small little cutscene with the Great Duke, Deku Tree. And there's a shrine here that you're, you're definitely going to want to activate so that you can come back. I was here before, and I actually forgot to grab the shrine, so I had to go do all that again. So grab this shrine while you're here, and then you are now inside of the Korok Forest. So there you guys go. If you need help with that, now you know how to get to the Korok Forest in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.